Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Orlando. What an absolutely incredible day. We're actually going to head over to Playlist really quick. I'm going to get checked in, but then I am going to meet up with Savannah over at Gatorland. We're going to have an amazing day over there, and let's just have a great day together. I absolutely am so happy. This is a big improvement for Michigan weather for sure. So let's just go ahead, get over there, and have a great time. And I finally made it to Playlist, but today is kind of a mellow day. Tomorrow's a day that is insane here, as well as the fact that we have all the collapse. So I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here, go over to Gatorland, have a great time there because after all I'm here to play with animals more than anything else but we're gonna have a good time at the YouTube convention as well so people are starting to roll in we're gonna go see Chester the big huge alligator that actually used to be naughty and eat dogs regardless we are with Danny over here say hi Danny what up I'm gonna put Danny on the spot. Apparently he gets the best selfies with Chester ever. You can't say that now. It, this doesn't work out anymore. <laughs> so if it doesn't work out, it's all Danny's fault. All Danny's fault. Yeah. Getting in there with her? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make a video and then I'll just... Okay. That's how it works right there. Try to get him lined up in the middle. You mean his head? Yeah. Right there, stay, stay right. Try to get oh, his head right there. I got you. Yeah. Right, ready? Yeah. Chester, come on, Chester. Chester, come on, buddy. Up. Chester, come on, buddy. Up. Chester, here, let's go. Up. Come on, Chester. Chester, smile, buddy, smile. I think we Chester. might have gotten it in the beginning. I need the beginning of it right Chester, come on, buddy, smile big. He's gonna get eaten. Come on, Jess, come here. I know, but it's the best selfie if it works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think it I think we may, I think I might have gotten it at the very beginning. Okay, so I think we might have got the selfie that we wanted. You did good, Dan, you I did good. And uh, so I'll insert the picture right here. So we are in one of my favorite places in Gatorland, of course, Adventure Hour. You guys recognize this dude here that kind of controls What's up, guys? Things. Peter, of course, Savannah. Hey! Uh, Savannah, you got some nice chicken. I did. You know what? I cut this chicken up for you yesterday, but I accidentally left it out overnight. So it's pretty smelly. Thanks, Savannah. <laughs> okay. Is he supposed to be up here? No! Didn't you draw? Oh, oh Peter, you've got to draw the again. line. Oh, well, so I, I mean, I drew it, it, but they already crossed <laughs> it. Oh, I no. can draw another line to make us even That's safer. what you yeah. should do, probably. Yeah. Hold on, let me see if, let me move this guy, because if we just tickle him a little bit, oh. he's going to go. Come on, boy. Oh, to the boy. water. <laughs> Let's go. Coochie coo. <laughs> to the water. Come on, man. Come on. Time to go. All right, a little more, a little more, and that's good. He's like, mmm, that felt better. I'm in the water now, nice and comfy. Uh, likes to be at the Adventure Hour pretty much every single day, even if he's not hungry. Black water? Ah, oh, Savannah's gator. Why do you play favorites like that? Well, I don't mean to play favorites, but when an alligator thinks I'm their favorite, I like to, I like to encourage that. Ah, nice, I like Come it. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, I got you chicken. Aunt, look who just showed up, little slashers here. Hey, guys. What's going on, guys? Slasher. Come on. No, come up here with me. Come on. Uh-oh. Come up here with me. Come on, big boy. Walk. Big boy. Come on. There you go. There you go. Blackwater, what are you doing? Come on, buddy. There you go. Uh-uh. Come on. Come here. Look at me. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Again, I absolutely love this part of the park because you can actually get in here and feed the animals. I'm really excited to bring some of the collabs from YouTube tomorrow because, you know, for us, this is just another day, so to speak. I mean, certainly for these guys, it's another day. I mean, look at Peter, the crazy man over here. <laughs> but, uh, but for people that aren't around alligators and crocodiles a lot, this is amazing. So I'm really excited to see how they're going to do. Hey, I know. He's, this is how they ask for another one. It might look scary on camera, but... They really don't have another way to say, hey, can you give me one more piece? I'm real excited about it. to be careful in here is females on nests. You can see there's a nest and there's a female and that's when they get the most protective so uh, that's why I'm going to let Peter go. That's why you're going to let Peter go first? <laughs> that's right, I get eaten first and you'll be our... 
this is kind of a scary area because it's Why? new for us and it's new for them. So you guys just put this in? Yeah, we just put in this whole new beach oh because the gators had wallowed out so much of the beach that there was almost none left. Okay. So we built this whole new beach all the way down to here. Nice. But they're just figuring it out. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. So like I've mentioned so many times, you know, crocodilians, alligators, obviously, are kind of repetitive animals. So the fact that these guys really don't know about this new land here, uh, they don't really know what's going on here. So we've got oh, some coming in, so it won't no, take too a, long before they get the hang of it. Look at that. Cannon. Open. Ooh, that, that's coming in hot. That might have been a little anger there. That's pretty <laughs> cool. That was, that was like a bit of a snake eyes trick. Splash with the tail, bite with the mouth. Open. Move, I'm gonna move the bucket. Hey, open. I know he came in hot. Yeah, Real he did. Hot. They all do over here because they don't know. Hey, stay. Okay. Good gator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lamar? Lamar? Is that Lamar? Yeah. Lamar. Lamar. Open. Come on, Lamar. Come on, open. Lamar. Open. Lamar, up. Lamar. Lamar. Lamar, come on. Lamar, come on. Lamar. Hey, buddy. Can you get up here? Open. Again, as of this point, you know, they're just trying to figure out what's going on because they usually get fed over an adventure hour. Time they'll really get used to what's going on. Let's see. They're pretty anxious right now. Blackwater is like Savannah's favorite alligator. She plays favorites. Literally, it was like <laughs> swimming away. She called it, it immediately turned, and it's coming right at you. Come that on! Is it is crazy the relationship that Peter and Mike and Mark and Savannah and everyone here has with these alligators. It's absolutely you. incredible. But we brought you something. Got you something. Come on. Come here. Get up here. Come on. Hurry. You're excited. Yeah, that's a good boy. You're excited now, huh? I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Open. There you go. There you go. work at Gatorland I because most of my life I lived in Florida and then um, I was working at the at a reptile zoo in California and I was applying all the time every time there was a job opening I was applying I applied for ice cream I applied for maintenance I applied for zip line <laughs> I applied for everything Someone was calling me back and I was like what the heck <laughs> I'm the greatest person to work at Gatorland I think because I love Gatorland like it's in my blood and like I was telling you earlier like I knew Pearl when Pearl was this big I met Pearl when Pearl was little teeny baby really? she was about that big the first time I met her here at Gatorland I had come for a tour I got to meet Pearl I got to hang out with her I even have pictures from way back then when she was teeny and uh, now she's 16. We just had her 16th birthday party last year. 16, you're getting old, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's just gotten so big. Like, it's crazy how big she is. Oh. So I kept applying, I kept applying, I kept applying. And then finally, I, when I moved back to Florida, like, I just kind of kind of uh, ran a campaign to work at Gatorland. Like a radio campaign, a uh, social media campaign. Like, so everything Savannah was coming at Gatorland from all different directions. So finally I got an interview. <laughs> I think after all the years of applying, they just finally called me in to say, that's enough, we're not gonna hire you. But because I had learned so much, and because I could speak their lingo, and because I knew so much about reptiles at that point, they kind of caught on and they were kind of like, you know what, hire. Actually my boss said hire. I don't think everyone in the room did, but the one person that mattered did. <laughs> the position that I'm working, I created myself when I came to work here. There was no position. There was, we'll have you come into the park for 20 hours a week and let's see what you do. And I would come in every single day as early as I could come. I would film everything that was going on in the park. I wasn't in charge of the social media then, so I would just ship it through my social media. And numbers don't lie. So every day I was bringing back higher numbers and higher numbers and higher numbers. Finally, they passed it off to me. So my first job was animal education ambassador. My second job was social media. My third job was Crocodilian Enrichment Coordinator, which is still my standing job. But my fourth job and most new title is International Ambassador for Gatorland Global. People that are watching, that want to follow my path, here's what you do. You never give up. 
and you never take no for an answer and you keep on working hard. If you don't quit, that's the favorite quote, right? If you don't quit, you eliminate 99% of the competition. I want Gatorland to be the most gigantic, world-renowned reptile adventure park in the whole entire world. And I want us to go to other countries and save crocodiles. We're already doing that. I want us to bring people in from the time they're little kids, teach them about alligators and crocodiles and conservation and ecology and how important these animals are to the ecosystems they thrive in. So this is Butters and I actually got him in South Florida and he was not in the best of shape when I got him. And so I've had him for about three and a half years now. And don't let him not biting me make you think that it's okay to have one of these. <laughs> because uh, he is a very, very intelligent, very quick, amazing animal. <laughs> Most people will say this is probably the smartest of all the reptiles. Uh, I mean, they are unbelievably quick. This is literally a velociraptor. Absolutely. And, and, and the penalty for getting bit by this is so extreme because they have the most incredibly razor sharp teeth. This makes Elvis, my monitor, look like nothing. So it's amazing. But you could just see in those eyes how he's just looking and trying to figure things out. Uh, you have to have a relationship with this. Absolutely. Absolutely, and it's very hard to build a relationship because they're not so much food motivated. Like they'll just look at your food and laugh away. Like it has to be a serious building of trust for a very long time. Like I mentioned earlier, tomorrow we come back with a handful of cool YouTubers to do kind of the Gatorland experience. I've done it a lot of times, so I'm kind of trying to show it through Savannah's eyes to you guys today. Not to mention, like I said, she inspires me because she's so dedicated and so passionate about what she does here. But I absolutely love this place. Interestingly enough, all the times I've been down here to Gatorland, I've never actually messed with these guys right here. This is actually Lucy, the 27 year old Galapagos tortoise. Oh my gosh, Galapagos tortoise are absolutely some of the most amazing animals on the planet. I mean, look at this thing right here. Look at that chomper. That's what's so good about Galapagos and Aldalbert tortoises are the fact that they're so absolutely incredible animals. Oh, listen to that chomper right there. I tell you what, I don't want to get my finger in there, that's for sure, because that little beak right there has got some pressure. It's okay, little Lucy. It's okay, Lucy. Here, just come up here. It's okay, little Lucy. Oh, just listen to that. Oh. And these guys literally will get up to 600 pounds. Of course, males will. Females will stay a little bit smaller. And about 26, 27 years old, that's when they're sexually mature. Believe it or not, these guys won't even lay eggs usually until they're in their 20s. So Lucy here, I'm gonna watch my finger. Watch my finger. Oh, there you go, little sweetheart. They're pretty incredible. But again, males are gonna get even larger. That is one incredibly prehistoric animal right there. Of course, we've met Lucy over here. This is actually Dean. Look at the size of Dean. I mean, do you guys have an idea how absolutely mammoth this is? But this is actually an Aldalber tortoise here. So we've got an Aldalber here and then a Galapagos here, which are very similar animals. It's almost like parallel evolution, quite frankly. And of course, males get much, much larger. Dean is actually 105 years old. Is that absolutely ridiculous? 105 years. Dean, you've been around so long, buddy. But wow, that thing is absolutely incredible. And just like the Galapagos, the males get much larger. Females do really stay smaller, but never less 105 years and listen he's got a long way to go these guys will go 150 there's even rumors of these going over 200 years so there you guys have it a match made in heaven as we're kind of finishing the night here i tell you what savannah this has been such a great day so much fun it was so cool do me a favor guys go down in the description you can see all of savannah's links to our instagram gatorlands instagram everything like that please go give them some love they're always so great to us and truly this is an amazing amazing place so if you're ever down here please come give them a visit and you can bug Savannah for me because she loves that type of stuff, right? And you always tell me that Brian sent you because I like to know where everybody comes from. <laughs> exactly. But as for now, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog and just wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching because as always, your support means the world to me. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Please, can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Make a comment down below because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.